Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Hey, it's Charles. How you doing? What is up? Uh, I haven't talked to you for a bit, but I just wanted to show you today how wonderful my Serbian friends are, man. You know, I've got such really, really good friends here you know, that, that always take care of me. One of my little buddies, uh, Matt, Matthia. Uh, he's from here in Nish. He was an exchange student in Ohio. He just got back from Greece. We met up today, and uh, you know he had to give me this gift, a bag of Oreos. These are my favorite cookies. Can't find them here in Serbia. So he got me these, man. So I've sat here, and there's like 10 little packages. I mean, all but one. So I knew that was gonna happen, you know. But that, then you can see my shirts. I got like seven shirts. Check this one out. This one. This one. And don't ask me what some of these say, because I really don't know. You know, it's all in Cyrillic, man. But you can see, maybe you can tell me in the thing, in the description, what, it, what exactly they say, because i got to translate them somehow. But they're really cool shirts, and these were my buddy, uh, Milos from, say, Serbia. Thank you, Milos, for sending these to me. I appreciate it. This gives me all a whole new outfit, because I still got all my stuff up in the... Uh, fuck the, I can read this one. Fuck the cola, fuck the pizza. All we need is... I was going to say Shlivovica, but I don't think that is. This is Sh. I know that. Neznam. Neznam. I don't know what it says. Anyway, I got that. And what else? Oh my god. And one guy, really, really nice gentleman, sent me this custom knife, man. And this is a leather packet. It's got this really awesome stainless steel with a design in it and a wooden handle, and it's very, very sharp. I mean, the, the coolest thing. I'm gonna put in my, uh, my description of this. I'm gonna put, the, uh, put his name and stuff. He makes a lot of this stuff, and it's really, really high quality, so it's awesome. So man, you know, and I'm not just saying I love Serbians because of this, but you know, I mean, it, if there's ever an issue or something, I mean, they take such good care of me, you know. It's giving me things, and, and, and the people here don't have any money, you know, but they're always willing to help me. And, uh, you know, really, really touching. And uh, I just got back from Ruma. I was up in Ruma again. I stayed in Navi Side for a week, as you know. I was in Ruma uh, for Foam Fest. Uh, my buddy Lubin, uh, he's a celebrity uh, press guy. And uh, he, he got me in there VIP, and I got to squirt a bunch of foam out at like 4,000 uh, crazy, crazy uh, Rumites. How, how do you say somebody from Ruma? But, uh, you know, we had a blast right before we went to the park. It was all, the park is full right across the, the little place where you can get into the Foam Fest. The place is filled with kids uh, just out there having fun, you know, drinking a few beers and stuff before they go into Foam Fest because foam, the beers are expensive in there. But I was in there with Snezhina. Uh, she was a Playboy model. Uh, she's a sweetheart, wonderful young lady. And then uh, Nikolia Jovanovic, she's the uh, daughter or Cherka of uh, Vesna. Zmaj, uh, I forget how to say her name, she's a Serbian traditional singer. Uh, beautiful, two beautiful young ladies. Very, very friendly, down-to-earth people. And you know, we had a blast. We was there from uh, like 11 o'clock till five o'clock in the morning and we left and ah, man, it was just a great, great time. So, got back down here in Nish and uh, today I went out with two of my buddies and just, just having a really, really good time down here. And uh, this weekend is Nish. Nishville, so I've got a VIP passes to that, and uh, my my buddy here that, that works at Nishville, the, the organization, uh, the owner is giving me VIP tickets so I can get in and get up close to everybody, and I'm gonna do my damnedest to do some awesome interviews. And Kyle uh, Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's son, is gonna be there, and rumor had it, I don't know if this is true, uh, but. Uh, Somebody told me today, my, bud, my buddy Nikola Tsekic, I just went and had a coffee with him a minute ago, he said he heard that Clint Eastwood might be here for this to watch his son, so wouldn't that be awesome if I got to speak to him? I mean, I'm going to interview him, I'm going to ask him, I'm not going to ask him any silly questions that everybody asks him, or stupid, uh, the normal questions, I'm going to ask him Serbia related questions, what he heard about Serbia, if he remembers 1999, just ask him some... some just to see what kind of knowledge he has on this country, you know. So it should be fun. I'm going to talk to some other people in the crowd and kind of go around to the different stages and try to meet some of the other artists. So it'll be fun. And, you know, something that I'm kicking myself in the ass for 
is I didn't get a chance to go to Gucha again this year, man. I say this every single year that I'm going to go there. And I know everybody told me I'm not a true Serb until I go to Gucha. But here in Serbia, if you're a foreigner that's watching this, August is a, is a must come to Serbia in August because almost every single festival is in August. Uh, you know, it, it, no, no, no offense, but it's kind of a, a silly thing for the for the, the, the country to do is in the cities to organize every single thing almost in August because the Foam Fest in Ruma is at the same time as Gucha. Beer Fest in, in Belgrade is the same time as Nishville. They're kind of doing two, it, it's kind of counterproductive. I mean, you're taking uh, what could be more tourists and getting more interest in both places, but they, show, they throw them in here at once. And, you know, I know they probably want to get everything done before the kids go back to school and uh, all that stuff. So, I don't know, we'll see. And I, I, I think, um, I'm going to, I, I've got to start making some money here and uh, I don't really want to go to schools and, and, and do all that. So I had one of my buddies, uh, Milan from Panchevo, my dear, dear friend, uh, he wrote up in Serbian, I had a little thing in English, I'm going to post around town here in Nish and I'm going to do like private lessons and do kind of fun things, you know, and, and, and try to help Serbians with Serbian kids and, and young adults with their accent, with vocabulary and kind of uh, more creative English learning. You know, that's kind of what I did in Mexico. We were able to formulate our own lesson plans and get away from the, you know, the strict grammar, 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 get into actually conversing in English because a lot of kids down here in Nish and, and all over Serbia don't really have a chance to speak to native speakers. And uh, so I'm going to I'm going to throw up some things around town here and maybe, you know, make a little bit of money and help some kids here and, you know, uh, give myself some some more to do. And I don't know. I think that's really about it, you know. I just uh, I got really good news the uh, American football equipment. They sent me a, an email, the, the shipping company, Milan Babic and uh, Aqua Air Enterprises in the United States. Wonderful, wonderful people. Um, uh, they, they're the ones that allowed all that stuff to put, be put on the ship. It just got here to, I think, Croatia or Montenegro, and it's being shipped here to Belgrade. And um, so that's good news, you know. That's like 78 sets of stuff going to collect Somber Verbash and. Uh, Sremska Mitrovica. So something, the, the, the guy that was in charge of it, it's a, the collect team, they sent me a message and said, you know, the customs officers here are wanting money, 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 you know, fees and everything for this stuff. And uh, so I sent uh, Nenad Borochanin, the, the, the Minister of Youth and Sport here in Serbia, I sent him a quick message on Facebook and he said he's going to try to attempt to help us with that to make sure that nobody has to pay anything since it's strictly donated material for purpose of, you know, the, the football team's usage. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's something that sucks when you, you got people that try to help just donate things with no money and then you get government hands in things and they, of course, want their little piece of the pie, you know, and never understand that, you know. But what do you do, you know? Uh, so you can know something else I was going to tell you. Oh, I got kind of some good news on uh, the web series. Yankee Doodle went to Serbia. You know, he's on Zhikina Sharanica. And my buddy, Nick... Oh, my battery died. Sorry. Uh, Tito's funeral. The guy that was in charge of Tito's funeral. And uh, the guy loved it. He watched the uh, the episode, the 40-minute episode from Ruma. And uh, he's going to help us get it on five or six TV stations here very, very shortly. And that could turn into a huge, huge thing. Especially when, when, when a director like that that's very well known, you know, loves it, thinks. He said, he complimented me. He said something about um, the way I flirt with the audience and uh, my energetic and uh, you know voice and everything so that's really fun really cool man I'm really really honored that uh, you know that he likes it so if we get it on those stations then we're gonna go to Navi Sad and to Belgrade and kind of show it off and maybe we can get those tourist organizations to be interested and uh, you know if that happens the guy knows many many sponsors big hotels big uh, organizations in Serbia that help with stuff so could be huge man so good things coming good things going on I'm enjoying myself uh, this country has been so good to me, you know, and I cannot say that enough, you know. I, I come from the United States, in the middle of the United States, and I come here and I, 
I absolutely love it and I absolutely love my friends and my life now. Everything is great and it seems like my whole entire life, you know, revolves around this little country that, you know, 10 years ago I knew nothing almost about and now I'm here and I'm loving it. So, great place. If you're a foreigner watching, get your ass over here. Havala Vam, do Virginia.